Hi, I'm Dr. Dick and this is my kitchen. I'm making another quick video for you because I wanted to show you again how fast and easy it is to use the quick cooker from Pampered Chef. A great um, thing to have in your kitchen. Uh, you can make your meals very fast. Some things you can even start off frozen in the quick cooker. It's safe to use because uh, sometimes pressure cookers can be a bit scary, but this one is very safe and uh, the pressure release valve is far away from the valve itself. Easy to use, uh, quick to clean. So I wanted to show you how versatile this is to make. We're going to be making an artichoke dip here. And as well, I wanted to show you the insulated bowls that we have here that come in two different sizes. Can be bought separately, but also can be bought in a set for a bit of lower price. Uh, great to serve hot or cold things in there. So I just wanted to show you a quick recipe using the quick cooker and the bowls for serving afterwards. So I'll just go ahead and start. So to start off with my recipe, all I need to do, my uh, quick cooker is already plugged in. I just need to remove the top. And the first thing I need in my recipe is frozen spinach. As easy as that, you just buy it frozen. You put it on the bottom. You follow it by cream cheese. artichokes all I did was the canned artichoke hearts was just to uh, drain them and chop them and you just add them in there a bit of uh, vegetable or chicken stock I'm going to be putting in some garlic just that I'm going to press using the garlic press as easy as just putting your garlic in there and squeezing it out and you have nice little pieces of garlic it asks for two or three cloves. And as easy as that, we have our pressed garlic. Last few things to add in there are the Greek rub. And this is just the Greek rub that comes from Pampered Chef. Great spice to add to any kinds of salads or dressings, even to your souplakis or Greek salads. Uh, has a nice floral scent, so very versatile spice to use. All we need here is a tablespoon and just a bit of salt and that's all there is to it I don't need to do anything I don't need to mix it all I need to do is put the top on to start the quick cooker all I need to do is push custom setting for the time I just push time and with the minus I just go down to six minutes which is the time needed for this particular recipe and once I'm at six minutes I push start, the quick cooker will start to warm and with, once it reaches its pressure, we'll start to cook. And after that, six minutes, we'll have our dip, add a few ingredients and our dip will be done for ready for serving. The timer on the quick cooker just went off, just sig signaling that the pressure was, uh, the cooking was done. I added a few extra minutes just because it wasn't quite done after six minutes. So now I'm just gonna release the pressure. And while the pressure is releasing, I'm just going to finish preparing the last ingredients. So using the coarse grinder, I'm just going to grind a bit of my cheese. I'm just using the block here. You also have the protective little box that you can use also. So I'm just going to grate a bit more cheese. And just to show you the uh, digital kitchen scale that we have here, um, I'm measuring out four ounces of cheese. So I just put the bowl on, press zero to zero in my scale. And then I'm just going to add up to four ounces of cheese. And once that's done, and you can use different units too, if you want to measure in grams, you can do that. So now that we have our four ounces of cheese and our cream cheese, that's re uh, our sour cream that's ready, all we need to do is once the little um, pressure gauge on it goes down to, uh, to show us that the pressure is down, which it just did now, I can open my quick cooker. There we go. And I'll add my last few ingredients. And once the ingredients are uh, placed inside the dip, I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And all we need to do is wait a few minutes and then we'll serve it out in our insulated bowls. I finished serving my dip inside the smaller insulated serving bowl. Uh, this one serves up to about a liter of whatever kind of dip or product you want to put in there. If you want to keep your product warmer uh, for longer, what you can do is put a 
put a bit of hot water in there for about 15 to 20 minutes before, before adding your dip so that way the bowl is already hot and it'll keep your product nice and warm for uh, at least 30 to 60 minutes. Um, the thing I like about these serving bowls is uh, one, there is a rubber on the bottom that prevents you from it slipping and sliding everywhere. So it's a nice thing to save uh, a bit of worries of things slipping around. Uh, the lid is also uh, sealed. So once you put it in there, you can store it in your fridge like this. There is even a uh, little uh, handle on the inside that you can just use to place it on the side of your bowl. So that way you can show uh, your product when you're not serving it. You can just shut it down and you know, you know where your lid is at all times. So that's all it is. This is a quick video to show you how to use the quick cooker and serving bowls. And I'm just gonna try out a bit of the dip now. If you like any of these products, have any questions, please don't hesitate to send us an email, write a comment in the comment box, look at all the products in the description on top of the video, as well as the recipe for this artichoke dip. Um, don't forget to like and share, tell all your friends about it, and uh, hopefully you'll keep on watching our videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Let's taste this. Mm. Nice and hot. Very good. Have a good night, guys.